Uh, thank you all for coming this, uh, this afternoon. ARM uh, launched a four month long investigation on the illegal property behind us owned by the Cabrera family. This is a very extremely violent illegal slaughterhouse um, that we basically received a, a tip on of their brutality of animals for human consumption and ritualistic sacrifice, selling animals for Santeria, Palameyombe, black magic, and voodoo. The torture of the animals on this property is second to none. It is ghastly. The operators, including the owners, butchering animals alive. They were taking goats and sheep, stabbing them to death um, brutally. They were putting meat hook holes unstunned in goats and sheep's legs, hanging them from meat hooks alive, letting them struggle and then stab them to death and slowly sawing off their heads, if you can imagine that. The brutality in this property behind me and run by this family has been going on for decades. We are in a very rural area of greater Palm Beach County. Uh, very few people other than the customers knew about this establishment. Illegal meat being produced out of one of the most unsanitary, disgusting properties we have seen. The meat being distributed by couriers throughout greater Palm Beach County, throughout Broward County, and throughout Miami-Dade counties. Our undercover investigators followed these couriers on more than one occasion to shipyards, boatyards, businesses, restaurants in these greater communities. People have been eating toxic, diseased, unsanitary meats, not knowing it, from Cabrera, nicknamed Operation Groves by the Animal Recovery Mission. ARM delivered this evidence roughly, I would say less than 30 days ago to the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and to the Palm Beach State Attorney's Office. Dramatic measures were taken to very quickly form a task force, a strike force to shut this establishment down. All hats off from ARM and myself to these two agencies and these two offices. The Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the Palm Beach State Attorney's Office acted so incredibly quickly. And for once in decades, the animals behind us residing in this torture operation had a voice today. They were rescued today by animal services, by animal control of Palm Beach. Um, really hats off. And I, I want to stress this to everyone, that many times collecting the evidence on these types of establishments is the easiest part. Having law enforcement and the state attorney's office take action is at times the hardest, such as in Lee County right now in Fort Myers, where we have four illegal slaughterhouses investigated in the very same fashion as the farm behind us, going undercover, armed investigators, videoing covertly with audio and video, and distributing it to the Lee County Sheriff's Office and state attorney's office. And these farms are right now up and running. They are fighting us on having justice for the animals in Lee County because of their connections to the farmers. How incredible. Luckily for the animals in Palm Beach, we do not have a sheriff's office as they do in Fort Myers and Lee County and a state attorney's office as they do in Fort Myers and Lee County. You have justice in Palm Beach and thank goodness, right? Not only was this property a danger for the animals, of Palm Beach, but for the greater public. Again, the operators butchering animals and selling unadulterated meat, uninspected meat, in a, in a very unsanitary environment. Well known are the animals diseased in the property behind us. So the meat is certainly toxic. Who's responsible for this property being up and running for so long? It's not law enforcement. Law enforcement does not go undercover in these types of establishments behind us. They do not. This is a job for the USDA. This is a job for the Florida Department of Agriculture. They are dropping the ball. The greater public, the greater public is suffering from these offices and these agencies. They're not doing their job. Luckily enough, we have a sheriff's office that did, that stepped in and took drastic and extreme measures. There were three arrests today. We're hoping to see more in the incoming days. This property behind us will be shut down forever. 
Never again will an animal be tortured on the property behind us and the Cabrera farm in Operation Groves. We saw some of the video there. Uh, where was this meat going? The meat was being distributed at, by couriers to boatyards, to, to, to shipyards, to businesses, um, to restaurants, all of this on video, in front of homes. Um, and I can assure you, the people that were consuming this meat did not know the meat was being, and the animals being processed at an illegal slaughterhouse. Once you see the video, you'll understand the environment behind us, how dirty and unsanitary it is. Following no guidelines, these people are in violation of felony animal cruelty laws in the state of Florida and federally, selling unadulterated meat, uninspected meat, environmental laws they're breaking, um, building zoning neighborhood compliance. The, the, issue, the, the issue and the problem is that these farms, these small farms, are spread out in the greater Laxahatchee area like a hand. They're everywhere. They're everywhere in the state of Florida. We have a guesstimation of 500 to 700 of these operations, and I am the expert, ARM is the expert, in finding these farms and investigating them. They're spread out like a hand in our state. There is a serious hazard to the greater public in the state of Florida for letting these operations reside here by not taking enforcement. And as we are seeing now, from, stemming from our video from the farm behind us, some of the worst animal cruelty violations in our country is coming from the operation over my left shoulder. Richard, can you talk a little bit about the effect of someone seeing this kind of meat? We were told by animal care control that some of the pigs had fetal rabies. I mean, how, what kind of impact did that have on a person? That would be a question for a doctor. Um, although I do know people specifically who have called into our office that have gotten sick from consuming pigs from illegal slaughterhouses in Miami-Dade. These people were hospitalized. Um, different types of salmonella, different types of intestinal issues. Um, some of them, some of their family members almost died um, in the hospital throughout, throughout Broward and Miami-Dade. So there is, there is a extreme health hazard for consuming illegal meats in these establishments. To answer your question, we are hopeful that the USDA will finally step in and do their job. They will finally take this case seriously and others like them um, and find out, do some investigation work themselves as ARM has done. I do know that the Sheriff's Office of Palm Beach is investigating this right now. And this isn't even really their job, to be honest. This is a food safety issue. This job is, is a job for the USDA and for the Florida Department of Agriculture, not for law enforcement, although, you have an extremely ethical um, sheriff's office that is, is taking these charges almost into their own hands and investigating them themselves. Can you give us the scope of the amount of animals that were being slaughtered here daily and just kind of how the shelf is? Yeah, we are looking at roughly anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 animals per week being butchered alive on site behind us. And this property has been up and running for decades, so do the math. We're looking at such extreme suffering by these animals for decades and decades. We're, we're looking at the high hundreds of thousands, if not close to a million animals that were brutalized in the farm behind us, um, being kept hidden from the greater public and by law enforcement. Lucky enough, ARM is funded to come into these zones and launch independent investigations. All that we can do when we end these operations is be hopeful that law enforcement will be ethical and do the right job and take these cases. Luckily enough for us and the animals in this operation behind us, the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office did just that. How much money were they making? We do not know. Uh, roughly uh, larger animals, the animals that were being butchered alive behind us, were looking at calves, cows, sheep, goats, all types of birds, pigs, Pigs were looking at roughly $400 per pig, roughly $400 at times per sheep or goat. The chickens, they were selling roughly 1,500 to 2,000 chickens per week at $15 a head. Big, big dollars, big, big money that was coming out of this, the establishment behind us. And I can assure you, this property is a cash run business. 
they're not paying taxes on this, right? They're violating a host of laws with the IRS, with racketeering, um, with a ho host of other issues. Uh, in the video, we see them slaughtering. Uh, describe to us, you said this was an illegal operation here. Describe the difference to uh, a slaughterhouse that's legitimate and the method that's being done at legitimate ones compared to the one you say that here is illegal. At legal slaughterhouses, you have a USDA representative, usually a veterinarian that oversees the killing and the butchering, right? Those animals are supposed to be stunned properly um, with a captive bolt, rendering them completely and utterly unconscious in a legal slaughterhouse. Not that that happens 100% of the time, I can assure you. Uh, but the conditions are much better than in the operation behind us. Um, the, the animals have to be butchered in a very sanitary environment in an enclosed building. Um, you can literally eat off the floor and in the establishment behind us, it is all on open air. There are flies, bacteria, there are roaches that we've seen, maggots, um, very unsanitary and not suitable for human consumption. How many people did you have in there in the cover? We had two. Uh, we had, we had, at first, we had, we had one main undercover operative. He is a ex uh, army soldier. Uh, newly retired from the U.S. Army who did tours in Afghanistan, Iraq, who now is an investigator for ARM full-time and is hell-bent on shutting down these torture operations. How, about, uh, how many employees were working in there? We were looking at over six. Over six. So we are hopeful that there will be more arrests in days to come. We do know that today not only was the operation behind us raided, but also the violators' homes were issued search warrants at er early hours this morning. Um, and it was, a very, it was a very tactical operation. For four months was the... Uh... The investigation by arm was four months. We then delivered the evidence to law enforcement uh, roughly 30 days ago. Mister, you mentioned that this family, um, a family is behind these operations here. Are they connected to any other farms in Moxahatchee? They are. Yes, and we are investigating those. That's something that I cannot comment, on, cannot comment on. What I can say is that there are many, many of these operations in the greater Loxahatchee area, hundreds and hundreds in the state of Florida. As many of you know, we've done so many operations and shut down well over 100 of these farms in Miami-Dade County alone. Two or three weeks ago, we shut one down in Sunrise, Florida. Arrests hopefully will, will stem from that operation. Um, but uh, it should be concerning to all residents in the state of Florida, certainly in Palm Beach and in South Florida. You said you learned about this through a tip. How can people come forward? What, what should they be noticing? I mean, I can't imagine you'd hear a lot of animals squealing if you were living by a farm like this, but you know, maybe some people can't tell the difference. When people do hear noises, you can really tell an animal scream from pain and suffering um, to an ordinary scream. If people do have an idea that something illegal is going on, they can come to the animalrecoverymission.org website. They can fill out a confidential form um, giving us details on that area and we will dis uh, send out investigators to check it out, similar as we did today. And look what the tip came from. We, we have a raid, right? Animals will never be tortured again in this operation. So please, if anyone suspects illegal activity with animal, in a, let's say an illegal slaughterhouse torture operation residing next to them, contact ARM. You've been doing this for a while. Where do you rate this on, on the list of slaughterhouses in Florida? Listen, they're all bad. All of these operations are very similar in nature, right? The an, all the animals suffer um, al almost the same. Some, are, some cases are worse than others. Lee County right now in Fort Myers, those operations are much, much worse than this in Palm Beach. This is shut down. The illegal slaughterhouses, and I emphasize illegal, are being guarded and protected by sheriff's office, sheriff's deputies from the Lee County Sheriff's Office. If you can believe that, it is happening. Um, but extreme stuff coming out of, uh, coming out of uh, Cabrera Slaughterhouse. Again, I, I just want to emphasize how impressed that we are as a nonprofit organization fighting for animals that 
the sheriff's office of Palm Beach, um, the steps that they took, as well as the state attorney's office of Palm Beach, the steps that they took to shut this place down today. Can you briefly elaborate on, you know, the animals that were caged here today, a lot of them are in bad shape. I mean, what kind of life do they have ahead of any? We, Arm Sanctuary has actually opened our doors to all the animals um, stemming from this operation. The animals uh, that we take in stay on our property for life. It's Arm Sanctuary takes in the worst of the worst, so we do have skilled veterinarians that are used to dealing with extreme cases of farm animals. Um, but we will see. Um, how diseased are these animals is the question. Unfortunately, um, you'll see some of them be euthanized because of their manure. It's possible, yeah. Again, could you mention the kinds of animals that you say were slaughtered here illegally? We're looking at cows, calves, sheep, goats, all types of birds, geese, chickens, roosters, ducks. Um, we do know that there are dogs on site, whether those, whether those dogs were being sold for ritualistic sacrifice as the other animals were, we're not certain on. Um, but uh, you're, t you're, typical, you're typical farm animal. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.